Hi, I'm Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today I want to talk to you and share with you the line of products that we've made for the new Ranger XD1500. I can't tell you how excited I was to get my first machine. I have a two-door as well as a four-door. But one of the things that I discovered right away, especially on the two-door, is there just isn't much storage in it. It seems like Polaris took all the storage away and filled it up with speakers or um, covers and there just really isn't any place to store it. So we set about to really solve those problems. I'm excited to share those. The first place I want to start is the front door. And that was probably the first thing that I noticed when I got my new machine is that Polaris is using this uh, Oh, kind of spider web material nylon mesh here as a door pocket. Having other Rangers, I'm North Stars, I was used to having the plastic cubby right here. I really like it as a place to store my pistol, gloves, you know, sunflower seeds. So this was the first product that we developed for the Ranger. Also, on the four-seater, I noticed the people in the back seat like to have extra drinks with them. So we went ahead and made a door pocket mounted drink holder. And it's also got a little cubby right here. You can put your cell phone in there if you want. Uh, it also works great to put a, a box of 220 Swift or 22250 shells fit right in there. Um, we made this so you can have uh, a drink holder, it's got foam padding. So it's your choice whether you want to have the drink holder or whether you just want to have a storage pocket. So very easy upgrades. You can do these just in a matter of minutes and I think it really will enhance the usability of the machine. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about under seat storage. And you'll learn with us, everything that we've developed is because we think we can do it better. Polaris offers a plastic storage bin that goes underneath here, but in order to access thing, you have to open the seat, then open their lid, you're reaching in there, the lid's falling down. Uh, it's not maximizing the storage space, and I just felt we could do it better. So the result of that is our under seat storage box, and you can see it right here. And you can see by the shape that we really put a lot of thought in trying to maximize the space, yet making it easy to get in and out of the vehicle. It also comes with this um, storage uh, bin right here on the front, so you can put your gloves or whatever. We've already talked about that. It's the same exact one as on the door pocket. We also included this false bottom, and you can see the holes that we put in it. And the goal here is to help air recirculate when you have stuff inside of there, because you always got a stinky sweatshirt or blanket or something thrown in there and we're trying to help with air movement in there as well as if water or anything gets on the floor that keeps the water off of it. We also made it easy to clean the floor. You can just lift this out when you clean inside of there. The other thing that was important is not to hinder getting in and out of the vehicle or having your legs touch stuff when you're riding and you can see as I get in here this little angle helps your heel come in, but when you're seated, sitting, this storage pocket doesn't interfere with anything. So we put a lot of thought in it, and we've actually done a lot of testing. Well, now that I'm sitting in the passenger seat, I wanna to talk to you about our storage tray that goes over the glove box. And inevitably, if you're an outdoors person or you're actually using your machine, you end up with a lot of stuff on the dash, from sunglasses to packs of gum, the shells, you name it. So we made this handy little divider and the original goal for me was to give my friends a place to set their cell phone. You know, a lot of times when we're running, one of them will be on Onyx so they can set their phone either sideways or straight up and down. You can also set, it's a place for a box of shells to set. You know, you name it, sunglasses, everything just kind of ends up there, pins, you know, I'm always missing a pin or a Sharpie when we're out on the trail. And this thing really addresses all of those concerns. And I think at first glance, you would say, I would never want that. 
I can almost assure you after you have it, you're gonna love it. And that's why at RBO we offer a 30 day money back guarantee, but this is definitely a keeper. Okay, now that I'm sitting here in the driver's seat, I wanna focus your attention on this little storage box that we made with this built-in console. And what's pretty cool is we did this all with the neoprene foam right here. What a great place to set sunglasses. Again, another place to set shells. Uh, walkie talkies end up there on my machines. We also made it lockable. Um, you can just stick the key in right here and lock it. It also has a little bit of a slam latch right here. So me personally, I'd rather not have mine locked all the time. So leave it unlocked and it's, and then here's a nice slam latch on it. Lots of storage down in here. Inevitably, when you're out on the trail, you wanna carry lots of stuff. So imagine if this is just on the two-door model, how valuable this storage space can become. It bolts on very easily, very quickly, just using the stock screws. You don't have to do any drilling, cussing, no throwing of hammers or swearing. It, it just goes in very easily. Next, we made this fold-down console right here, and it has a padded armrest on it. So the stock Polaris one just has two drink holders on it. But again, not a lot of storage, especially in the two-seat machine. So we come up with this. So now you got this big, deep storage compartment. It's got the slam latch, also completely lockable so that you can get out with confidence. If you don't want to use it, it just folds up out of the way. You can then set your rifle in here. So a very, very useful storage compartment that we're quite proud of. Again, I just want to reiterate, it has really nice foam padding. And we do all of this right here in Mountain Home, Idaho. So it's pretty exciting that not only are we building the, the metal portion, we're also doing the upholstery work right here in house as well. Okay, now I'm going to jump into the back seat and talk a little bit about what we've done back there. Okay, now we're in the back seat, and this is, this is where your friends or your kids um, normally ride. One of the things that I notice, is, especially in the winter, is it doesn't take long for this to fill up with sweatshirts and coats and binoculars, and if you have kids, it seems like there's Xbox, or not Xbox, but Game Boys and Switches and all that, and everything's just getting cluttered, and, and uh, we thought there could be a better way. So we designed our front console to work in the back. So you have this other storage box right here. But what's pretty cool about this is Polaris has a factory 12 volt outlet right here. So we sell a kit so you can plug this outlet in and have USB ports on each side because let's face it, everybody needs to be plugged in these days. So what a great way for cable management, it's a real sanitary uh, connection point. Great place to store electronics, binoculars, things like that. And just like the front, it's lockable. And you also have this neoprene place right here, which is perfect like if you wanna set your cell phone. We made sure that it was sized right to fit all of those options. The front fold down seat, storage box is also available for the back of it so you get a lot more storage here so between these two compartments you're going to get a lot more storage again it has the padded armrest on it you still retain the stock drink holder um, down here on the floor but like we did on this machine we also added drink holders in the door pockets so when you put all of this together you really maximize the storage space in here um, on the Polaris Ranger XD. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna go to the back and talk to you about something that really is complete game changer the way we innovated our winch headache rack. So here we go out back. I said earlier this is a game changer and what makes our winch headache rack a complete game changer is the way we mount the winch. So most well, all of the winch headache racks that we've seen on the market have the winch mounted up there. So it's virtually impossible to, to spool the winch in or to reach the free spooling option on it. The other problem with up there is 
If your winch is up there and you're winching off at an angle at all, all of the winch line builds up on one side of the winch. And we know a little bit about what we're talking about because we started out with in the ditch towing products and we have a US patent on a device called the side pour. And if you wanna check out some of those videos, they're pretty cool. But we've been building side pullers for the tow truck industry for almost 20 years now. And people that use these winches and winching over the side day in and day out and feed their families with it. You know, it's their absolute career. So we're very passionate about winching. And we know a thing or two, like fleet angle, which is the angle at which the line enters the winch. So we wanted to improve that. And so how we did that is by mounting the winch here, you, the operator, you can free spool it. As you're gathering in winch line, you can, you can spool it back and forth. You have control. But the biggest thing is, is how to improve fleet angle. So you can see if I'm winching over the side right here, the fleet angle coming into the winch stays the same. So I can winch any one of these angles and I'm not affecting the angle that the winch line is going into the winch. We're maintaining the proper fleet angle at all times. So I can pull over here. There just simply isn't another winch headache rack on the market that will do what ours will just won't. So this gives you incredible amounts of flexibility. We, when you order our winch headache rack, it comes with two remote controls, wireless remote controls. It also has these Molly mounts so that you could mount your uh, our Molly products onto it. We also have our It Fits mount so you can see in some of the photos you can configure it with an axe or rotapax or anything like that. We also made these removable because like me, every once in a while, I like to clean my back window. So you can simply remove these bolts right here and pop this off and reach in and clean the back window. We also have light mounts. It comes standard with these LED lights as well as all of the wiring harness. Bolts right on. I mentioned 2,000 pound winch with the free spool option. And it's built right here in Mountain Home, Idaho. Everything you see right here comes with it. The winch, two remote controls, LED lights, the shackle, winch line, all of the hardware kit and everything you need to install this. It's just something that we have been so excited to bring to the market. We've been testing and testing and testing, and now we feel like we've got something that's absolutely the best winch heading rack that money can buy. Now I'm gonna talk about one more little thing, and it's probably the lowest cost item that we sell it was really tough to make because we're not going to get any return on our investment. Um, but it's something I felt very passionate that needed to come to the industry. And that is our rear view camera relocation kit. And it's right here on the back of the machine. When I got my machine and I put it in reverse for the first time there at the dealership parking lot, I felt like everything was cut off from about the waist down. So we made this bracket to angle the camera view up more so that you can see more around you. So definitely, I think a product that should be on every machine. I don't understand why Polaris didn't do it. I'm sure they have their reasons, but for me, it made no sense. So we solved that problem. And for those of you that don't have a need for a winching headache rack, we have our standard uh, utility cargo rack for the Ranger XD. That's what I'm running all the time. That suits me the best, but I have friends who are absolutely rocking it with this winch headache rack for winching uh, logs up for chainsawing, using it to load gain. So we tried to make something for everybody. As you can see from this line of products and from the tone of my voice, we're very excited to bring these to the industry. Um, we, we've been trying so hard to get them out there but we wanted to make sure we got it right, and we think we did. Also want to point out, if you're not happy with anything, we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. And you can also have a lot of comfort in knowing that when you buy something for Razorback Off-Road, you're putting people to work right here in Mountain Home, Idaho. And for that, I truly thank you. 
Well, thanks for spending a little time with me today, as well as our company, and I hope to see you out on the trail.